when we think about artificial intelligence now, many people think of it as a black box. So there's algorithms working in the background uh, that humans don't really understand. So there's obviously business insights that are being developed, but can you get any other business insights? Can you look inside this black box and determine what's going on? So my research, of course, has to do that because you propose a new method, uh, a new machine learning algorithm to solve a specific problem, in my case, coupon optimization or market structure analysis. But then the big question is not only whether it works, but also why does this work? Does it work reliably? Does it generalize to unseen data sets? So there's a very high burden of proof that comes along with scientific and academic work. And this is really the foundation for what we do at SO1 as well. We are not satisfied with seeing that something works in one or two applications. We really dig deep into the algorithm. We try to open the black box and really make sure that what the algorithm does is reliable not only in one application but in many applications. And this really requires assessing not only that it works or if it works, but really assessing also why does the algorithm yeah. work. So how do we do that? Of course, we um, take various benchmarks in, in evaluating our methods, um, but a key, port, key consideration is comparing our approaches to existing, promote, uh, existing um, solutions that were developed by scientists and practitioners over the last 20 or 30 years. So by very rigorous testings and comparisons and applications beyond our actual one-to-one -one targeting, our one-to-one -one marketing, we can really validate the methods and understand how they work. One example is the topic of market structure analysis. We mentioned earlier that understanding product relationships is key to efficient one-to-one -one marketing. Yeah. We talked about substitutes and complements, for example. Now, this is something that, of course, retailers have a lot of knowledge about. Retailers know extremely well how to arrange their products, how to set up their stores, and they spend a lot of time evaluating or analyzing which products are complements and substitutes. Yeah. We, we leverage that knowledge and basically we take our machine learning algorithms and apply them to questions that go beyond one-to-one -one marketing. Not because this is the part of the products we sell, but it's really the, the validation that is at the, at the core of this. So we apply to market structure analysis and then we look at the results. We discuss those results with retailers, with academics, and we can see that many of the results are very intuitive. You'd say they have face validity. The nice and really exciting thing, however, is that some of the results, some of the findings are even new to the retailers. <laughs> now we discussed those new findings and there were several situations where brands said, oh wow, that perception of the products from the perspective of the consumers makes sense to us. It's not something that we thought about before, mm. but what you say makes sense. It's, so it's, it's, it's like realistic. It's explaining, so exactly. almost the contrary of what I was asking.